in mutual fund industry sips are the most popular vehicle through which people are investing and creating their wealth and if you as a mutual fund distributor you are looking for some new insights to sell the sips to your customer or you are struggling to sell sips and looking for some new ideas then this video is going to work for you in this video i am going to give you some simple uh, hacks which is going to be helping you in selling sips easily to your client helping them achieving their financial goal without burning too much hole in their cash flow hello everyone i'm shobhit i'm a fitness growth expert and founder of fitness growth club we are an aspiring community of new age mutual fund distributors who are determined to change how india invests so first let's talk about why sip has to be the main priority for all of us as a mutual fund distributor just look at the number and let me share their numbers with you so if you look at these numbers in the july 2022 through sips this industry has amassed more than 12000 crore and you see more than 5.62 crore sips are currently running so the answer is front of you this is a trend and you need to ride this trend the more you are going to get comfortable on the sip selling sip advising the easier it will be for you as a mutual fund distributor you need to understand that sips are a better way for customer to plan their financial future so in this video i am going to tell you what other things you can uh, do in terms of selling sips which will help you in getting better outcome and convincing your client to invest in mutual fund so let's start with some simple example i have created an example for you and from here i am going to take my argument forward and i am going to share with you three simple hacks so first thing is if you look at this chart i have created a scenario where your client wants to get 1 crore of wealth creation in the next 20 years and you are advising him to invest through sip let's take an sip returns of 15% so if a scheme or a portfolio which you are going to create for your client if it is going to give a 15% return and if your client is going to invest for 20 years he is going to get 1 crore of assets build up provided he is going to invest 7535 rupees per month so this is the benchmark which we are going to work upon if a client wants to uh, accumulate 1 crore of corpus in next 20 years then he need to invest 7500 or rupees and the investment should generate a 15% return now this is the uh, base scenario which we are taking in this scenario we are arguing that if client is ready to invest 7535 rupees he will be able to get 1 crore provided you are able to advise him and your advisory is going to yield a 15% compounding growth over the next 20 years now what if your client is going to say i will not be able to afford 7535 rupees sip he is saying his cash flow is not allowing him to invest this much money so what is the other alternative which you can offer to your client in terms of getting the same uh, wealth creation that is 1 crore in next 20 years what other options you can offer to him that i am going to discuss with you so the first option which you can share with him is a concept which is called step up sip what is step up sip it is a way in which client is going to do sip but with little of change what is that change that change is he will keep on increasing the installment amount every year either by amount or percentage so what this means let's assume that your client is going to start uh, sip of say 5000 rupees and uh, if he is going to uh, take option of a step up sip with increment is done on percentage basis so let's assume he is going to say that i want to increase the sip amount by sapai 10% every year so first year the sip installment is going to be 5000 every month from the 13th month that is next year the sip amount is going to increase by 10% 
to 5,500 rupees and so on and so forth. The logic of getting into step up SIP is we are assuming that your client is going to have a, uh, income growth over a period of time. And as his income is going to grow, it will be likelihood that he will be able to invest more. Now, if coming to the, our base scenario where we are talking about cutting 1 crore in 20 years time period and if your client is not having a sufficient cash flow to commit 7,500 odd rupees, then the in, through a, a step up SIP, if I look at this example, here your client can invest or start investing with 3,600 rupees monthly SIP for the next 20 years with an option to increase the SIP amount by 10% every year and he will be able to get 1 crore 21,072 rupees in the next 20 years. So this is going to be much more better uh, convenient option for your client where we are assuming that with time the, uh, the income of the client will keep on increasing and as his income with that time will keep on increasing he will be able to provide more and more investment for his future financial goal. So I want you guys to explore this option whenever your client is a little uh, uncertain about his investment journey, you can give him a favorable pitch to start an S step of SIP where he can give a mandate that every year by certain percentage or certain amount, the amount will keep on increasing. So that this option you should be definitely exploring with your client. So this is one option which I think is going to be working well for most of mutual fund distributors and it is a win-win situation where your client is going to start with a small and as the time is going to progress, his income is going to progress and he will be able to commit more. The second option which I want you guys to look into, what if, if your client says that I'm not very comfortable investing a monthly uh, recurring investment of this much, I can start or I can commit smaller amount, but I will be able to commit some lump sum as well. So that option also you should be exploring and let me give you another example. So this you, if you look at one time plus SIP calculator, with the same target amount which we are looking at as 1 crore in the next 20 years and let's assume a 15% growth rate. So your client has to only commit 2,10,000 now and then 5,000 monthly SIP for the next 20 years and he will be able to achieve the same target amount. So this is also going to be working for some of the customers who have some ready-made uh, availability of uh, resources which he will be ready to uh, put in and then with a small SIP amount and much lesser SIP amount, he will be able to achieve the same goal. If you remember, this is the reduction of almost 30 to 40 percent in the commitment amount from the 7,500, now he need to invest only 5,000 rupees. So that also you will be able to uh, pitch to your client and I think it is going to be a much persuasive argument which you are going to be putting across. Lot of clients will have some lump sum in case they have those kind of liquidity available, this is going to be working as well. The third option which I am going to share with you, if your client is not having this much uh, big amount for lump sum, but he has a visibility in terms of uh, he may get some bonuses on a periodic basis that he will be able to allocate. With that, if you are able to provide some SIP uh, options, I think that is also going to play a much better value proposition to your client. So, it's a, let's take our base case where my, my client wants to accumulate 1 crore of corpus in next 20 years. Then the third option which I can provide him is if he is able to invest 1 lakh rupees for only 4 installment, that is in the 1st year, 5th year, 10th year and 15 years, he need to invest 1 lakh rupees and besides that if he is able to do 5150 rupees SIP for the next 20 years, he will be able to achieve the same target amount that is 1 crore in next 20 years. This is also one of the way in which you can advise your client that instead of burning uh, cash flow on a regular basis or if he is not comfortable, if you don't have visibility in that sense, you can mix it up with the some lump sum amount over a periodic basis and I think that is also going to be a very convincing uh, 
value pitch which you can put across to your client. So these are the three ideas which I want you guys to explore with our community. We keep on exploring a lot of permutation combination, lot of ideas which customer will be able to resonate with, with which customer is going to be comfortable with and which is going to be helping our clients to meet their financial goals. So I would love you guys to explore this three ideas. This is much more affordable option for your client to build their long term corpus. So explore this option, take a lot of insights and uh, I, I really hope that these are going to give you some new dimensions for you to start pitching SIP in a different way. In case you love the content, I would love you guys to hit that subscribe button, uh, uh, give us a thumbs up so that we are going to be reaching more like-minded people. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you next time.